Hey guys, just a small disclaimer that I'm no professional detail at all, but I'm really passionate about this. Something that I thought, you know, I really wanted to do. This is, um, as you see, sort of starting off the car, we have incredibly dirty wheels, and the paint has just a lot of sort of residue on it um, from the dirt, but then it's, it's, it's been sitting under a lot of cypress trees, and there's a lot of sap, everything on the paint um, of this BMW it's a, um, X5M. It's actually my mother's car, I think driven by Dad more, but it is the V8. Um, <coughs> 4.8 litre with the sort of M spec. So normally I always put on the snow foam dry uh, on a dry car because, well, that's really what they recommend. I know it's sort of against what some people do, but um, just so it really breaks off. But I wanted to see how much I could get off with just pressure um, water first. And then I just let the car dry without, um, without drying it myself to sort of dry, even if it has water spots on it, um, purely because then it's got a lot less for the snow foam to do, but you can actually see just in those photos how much drier the car had become. Uh, oh, sorry, how much drier, how much cleaner it had become. Um, here you see me grabbing off um, sort of the brushes I need, uh, and I've got a pumper bottle uh, actually full of wheel cleaner. I bought it, it's like a two gallon wheel cleaner thing. Um, this is just normal uh, nano wash from um, Bowden's Auto or Bowden's Own Automotive, which really good cleaning stuff. I'm going to use that, but I'm primarily going to use the wheel cleaner, which is in this sort of high pressure pumper. Um, spread all over the wheel, all over the tyre, and then you'll see me go to my range of brushes, just sped up there a little bit. Um, you can already see the dirt trying to build up just with a more uh, bristle brush, uh, and that's a wheel woolly to get in behind on the rim. These rims don't look too complex, but they're an absolute pain in the ass. Those holes, the top, small holes at the top, it's sort of too little to get a woolly in. Um, and here I'm just using a really soft horsehair um, brush just to really get that, um, that nano wash, and then the... Um, wheel cleaning uh, specific sort of strong one up i also put a little bit of wheel cleaner up in the arches it's rubber up in there or plastic uh, as you can see so that's uh it's fine to use it up there if this stuff gets in your body work make sure to get it off it is stronger um this is actually a pns um solution so you can buy the four liter or a couple of gallon whatever the fuck they are um solutions of uh, the wheel cleaner leave that on for a couple of minutes um, that did speed up there, you wouldn't have said it. So leave it on, on that, say, about 60 seconds, 90 seconds, uh, and then go to your range of brushes with that nano wash, uh, making sure you actually do rinse out your uh, different brushes in between uh, each set. You can just see the wheel um, changing as it's sped up. As you can see it going from, you know, you, you, it was almost an off black, and these are a matte black wheel. Um, so I guess they didn't show up the dirt too much, um, but you can really see up under the guards there and on the wheel, the amount of dirt actually is coming off. Um, I always make sure, not only with the high pressure, but then uh, with just normal hose too, you can see the dirt coming off the front fender there, um, to actually get um, all that um, hard um, wheel cleaner off. And that is just the dirt running out from under those two front guards. And that's the amount we got out of those. Um, these side steps are an aluminium sort of uh, plastic side step and even after the high pressure, I didn't think anything was going to get off, so I put a bit of wheel cleaner on them. Uh, I only left it on for about 20 seconds. Um, really got it going with, with a brush um, to pick, to build it up, actually get it foaming a little bit, and then get it off. And you can actually see, um, just because from the agitation of that brush, how much has come off, um, how much of the dirt. Make sure to get all that off, especially because see how it's sprayed up on the bodywork there. That, um, that wheel cleaner, that is a very harsh chemical, any wheel cleaner is. And then we move on to everyone's favourite step, which is the snow foam. This is a Bowden's own um, snow foam can with the, the foam in it. It's actually called uh, Snow Job. I find all their products have some sort of um, sexual meaning. Uh, and you can just see how that builds up. It's a lot better than... I have also like a cheap Chinese um, knockoff eBay foam can, and they are good. Like, there's absolutely no, no problem with it. You can use it. And this is about a $100 can compared to those. Another one's about $10. Bucks. Um, and the, dis the difference is, you know... It is noticeable, but it's not that much. So this definitely isn't something that everyone needs, but it's more the passion. Um, one big thing I suggest is getting someone to help you <laughs> clean. It helps a lot. Uh, and then this is the step after leaving five or ten minutes, um, getting all that foam off the car. Um, what is, again, uh, one of the best things to do. <laughs> um, as you know, It's fun to see the car foamed up. Take all your, You've got a time to take all your Snapchat photos um, or your Instagram stories and then clean it. Um, cleaning, you know, as always, top to bottom. Um, once I've done that, I really want to clean this engine bay too. I probably should have done this with it, um, but I more thought of it after. Um, it really depends on the car, but most modern cars are completely safe um, to snow foam under and clean 
like this. Um, as you can see here, this is yeah, the Pima V8, and a 4.8 litre. Fair bit of torque in this engine. It's not a bad car at all, um, although there is some damage on the interior. Um, and agitating uh, all this dirt and stuff underneath, you can't really see it on the camera, but you wouldn't believe the amount of stuff came under. This is the underside of the bonnet. Um, it's almost like a carpet, um, sort of weird heatproof material under there. The amount of dirt that came out of this um, was insane. And then just with you know, low pressure hose, sort of um, trigger head, getting all that off. And that is normally safe to do. People sometimes, it depends on your car, cover your alternator, battery and electronics. Um, and, from there, and from here we're going to do the two bucket wash. Um, that's with nano wash, same stuff we used on the wheels before, but of course different buckets. Uh, and again, getting someone to help you like Lily is incredibly helpful. Two bucket wash, so you know one bucket with your soap, one with um, fresh water, just with no soap in it, just to rinse. Uh, and also, I find in this too, um, going around uh, and actually doing your finer details with a brush, um, mainly your plastic stuff. So you know, at the bottom of the windscreen, um, your fuel filler cap, uh, your mud guards, everything like that that you need, and then lightly drawing the vehicle. I prefer sort of the pull-off method. I don't put any weight or very minimal weight uh, actually on the um, sort of fluffy microfibers. And as you can see, you know, throwing them out once you need to, um, and a whole bucket of microfibers. But you can see just after the snow foam and two-bucket wash, how much cleaner this car looks. Now the paint almost changed colour. Now I stepped out as it's Christmas um, out and down to do a couple of things with the parents. Um, so I really wanted to um, do it that night. Uh, this is a Bowden's three-way. This actually has a reaction um, with iron on the paint, same as like a rapid detailer, I guess, um, with a rubber. Um, so if, you, if you're familiar with how clay bars work, that is a rubber clay bar. Um, it's a Bowden's sort of thing, and I find it works just as well. Uh, but you need to be able to get all that um, three-way um, uh, iron breakdown sort of detailer off so first you rinse it and then you saw me wash it again the two bucket method and then dry it and that will make sure the paint everything is off the paint that it's back to just raw paint uh, and then we're going to give it a quick and this is only quick this is not a full paint correction but this is a, a heavier um pad i'm just priming the pad there so you see me put a bit on soak it in then i'll spray it with a quick detail which i didn't actually film um but it's sprayed with a detailer um, just to get it ready to go on the car that's a heavier one the orange and then we'll go to a black one that's just priming it. Look, if you're going to do any paint correction yourself, uh, make sure maybe watch some more YouTube tutorials on it, or I'll do some more, um, depending if you're doing like an audible or a circular cleaner. And then this is actually getting that polish off the vehicle. Uh, that is a um, auto glim detailer with a really um, fluffy microfiber because it's almost dry. This is going, this is after it's been um, the polished. Uh, this is a sealant on the car. This sealant, this is PNS as well. Um, the, I forgot what the PNS stuff's called, um, but they have like a, du a double black or something range. This is one of theirs. They've actually got the contract to do uh, Air Force One's cleaning. Um, so this is a sealant, you know, make sure you put it on, get some on the uh, microfiber you're using. One of the big things I'll say of this is just have a shitload of microfibers. They're cheap as, even if you've got ones you use for the wheels and ones you use for the body. And you can just see that sealant all on there and it's breaking, um, breaking down and it stays on the paint, but it needs to have eight hours to um, seal in. So this is the next morning. So one of the big things is follow their instructions on them. They're there for a reason. Uh, this is using a Bizzle uh, Pro Spot Clean. You can just see these mats. Um, so, you know, spraying on their solution. Then I use a bit of the carpet bomber from PNS. Uh, agitate the surface. Uh, and then you'll see me uh, a bit of water as well, just to um, actually get it a bit wetter so then it comes out um, with the wet vac. And then you'll see the amount of dirt coming out of these mats. I'm guessing these have never, probably never been cleaned. The most important thing I've found with this is using plenty of product, uh, plenty of water as well, um, just to dilute that product once it's on the mat. Um, you can sort of see right at the end there how much is actually coming out. And if you even drag back 20 seconds, how much better these um, these mats are looking. This product is about 160 Australian. I'm not sure that is in America, maybe like 120. But honestly, a massive game change. You can just see how much that's dragging out. The biggest thing I'll say with using this is actually getting uh, them clean. And this is after just well there's only three mats in this car two fronts and one long rear one and that's the amount of dirt and grime that came out of it stepping into the interior uh, on from the mats giving a really good vacuum this is just normal house vac you know a lot of people say to use a car vac or like a dyson vac of course that'll be a lot better and easier and quicker um but i understand most people um, won't have that long run this is how the interior looked look the camera actually makes it look, look a lot better than it was um the amount of dirt and everything in here you can just see it getting sucked up on that wet vac there 
was incredible in this is from doing the two front uh, footwells, front of the seats. Again, big bucket. I washed those actually overnight, and you'll see at the end the what I used to wash are the microfibers. And this is just an interior detailer. Um, sometimes I give a wipe, um, depending how dirty it is. I'll give, you'll see here a bit of agitation uh, with a soft horsehair brush again. Yep, just to um, see how it agitates up. It's a bit foamy, depending if it's like sort of if it's dirt, I'll just wipe with the microfiber. But if it's in a spot like this where the electric windows are, that's actually on the side of the seat, um, it will need an agitation because of your skin oils and sort of built-in um, grime on that sort of leather rubber or leather um, plastics in in the vehicle. And a lot of this, if you're safe, careful with it, um, is very safe to use. You see me here spraying it on the surface. If you are concerned about doing that. Um, spray it on the rag and then go in. You can just see the amount build up, built up around here. Just, you know, I wouldn't even want to know skin and bits of oil off your fingers and dirt and everything built up. So this sort of area is definitely going to need a good uh, agitation with the brush. And then we're going to move into actually using a leather cleaner. This is something I probably should have done twice, um, but time being as of Christmas time, do really need to. This is a really soft horsehair brush. Um, so spray the cleaner and let it sit, horsehair brush to um, get it sort of broken up in the surface, dig in. You see all those little holes, these are heated seats, so the little holes on them make it a lot harder, um, although they are really high-end leather on this Beamer. And then you actually wipe that off uh, with a damp rag, and once it's dry, this is going onto a leather care balm um, that you put on with a normal um, sort of um, applicator, like a Meguiar's applicator and then um, buff it off and then we're going on to the naked glass cleaner there's bella helping me out my cat my 22 year old cat and then yeah you can see this is the end result after using the glass cleaner and the leather cleaner interior how much better that paint looks um, there's a couple of before and afters that are coming up um, but you'll see that this is night and day on this car and this was you know time of the essence sort of uh, wasn't the fastest clean we could have done um, it actually has got one new headlight, one old headlight. The other one is actually getting chopped out. And look at those wheels. And then that microfiber wash you just saw at the end there, that was very, very quick. Um, but the microfiber wash, fantastic. It's a uh, bone zone product. I was very skeptical of it. You know, I'm not sponsored or endorsed by anyone. Um, and that you can just see the difference between the back here and that yeah, night and day. But there, that bone zone microfiber wash um, makes an absolutely massive difference. And so, and this is the interior after. Look, it's hard to see on the camera, but trust me, you can notice if you step in the car. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and then just join the army straight out of school with a rifleman. I deployed to Afghanistan for eight and a half months as a crew commander at 20 and turned 21 over there. I've traveled the world twice, jumped from planes, dove under the sea, drank from shoes in over 20 countries, and I regret nothing. Returning home in a regular doctor's checkup, I was diagnosed with incurable, inoperable brain tumor on my 22nd birthday. Since then, I've made it my mission to enjoy my life as much as I can and show that terminal illness doesn't mean your life can't be successful, meaningful and fucking awesome whilst putting in as much effort as I can to raising money for brain cancer research. 12 months of chemo done, 60,000 plus donated to research and I'm fucking happier than ever. This is my story of refining my health and redefining terminal illness and smiling through it all.